Coral Draw, one of the OGs in graphic design software, just released something new. It's the Coral Draw Go. It's their brand new web based design tool, and I've been testing it extensively over the past few days. I'm genuinely excited to share my experience because there's quite a bit that surprised me about this release. Hey, Shivam here, and you can check it out from the affiliate link in the description below. What is Coral Draw Go? Before we dive into Coral Draw Go, let's quickly talk about why this is significant. Coral Draw has been a cornerstone. Many of us started our design journey with Coral Draw, creating everything from logos to illustrations. It's always been known for its powerful vector capabilities and precise design tools. Now Coral Draw Go takes that the same professional DNA and brings it to the web browser. This isn't just another web-based design tool, it's a serious attempt to bring professional vector design capabilities to the cloud. We can access it from any computer with a web browser and all our work stays synced across devices. Interface and basic features. When we first log into Coral Draw Go, the interface feels refreshingly clean and intuitive. Instead of being overwhelmed by dozens of toolbars and panels, we are greeted with thoroughly organized workspace. The main area shows our templates and recent projects, making it easy to jump right back into our work. Toolbar on the left side contains all our essential tools, but here's where it gets interesting. These aren't just basic shapes and text tools, we get actual vector capabilities. The drawing tools include adjustable brushes, we can control brush path, size, and opacity. The vector editing capabilities are where Coral Draw Go really shines. This means we can create precise curves, adjust anchor points, and modify paths just like we would in a professional desktop software. However, it's a new product, so some UI refinements could make the experience even better. The interface, while clean and functional, still has room for optimization, but I expect we'll see improvement in future updates as they gather user feedback. Let's talk about some of the more advanced features that really set Coral Draw Draw Go apart. First, there's the layer management system. We get proper layer hierarchy, we can group objects, adjust opacity at the layer level, and even create masks. What's particularly impressive is the text handling. We get professional typographic controls including kerning, tracking, and leading adjustment. There's support for open type features, and we can even convert text to curves for custom logo designs. The text tool also includes a real-time preview of changes, making it easier to get our typography just right. While we can convert text to curves, it would be really helpful to have a collection of text effects that we could quickly apply to our designs. File compatibility is another area where it excels. We can import and export multiple formats including SVG, PDF, and even the native CDR files. This means we can start a project in the Coral Draw Go and finish it later on the desktop version if we need more advanced features. The SVG support is particularly useful for web designers who need scalable graphics for modern websites. Working with templates and assets. The template system in the Coral Draw Go deserves special attention. Instead of just giving us basic layouts, we get fully editable vector templates. Every element in these templates can be customized, from colors and text to actual vector shapes themselves. This is perfect for quickly creating professional looking designs by learning how more experienced designers structure their work. The asset library is extensive and well organized. We get access to thousands of vectors, illustrations, icons, and stock photos. What's great is that these aren't just flat images, the vector assets are fully editable. We can break them apart, modify individual elements, and customize them to fit our need. Also, while the stock asset library is impressive with its images and vectors, adding a collection of text templates would be a fantastic addition, especially for those of us working on branded content or social media posts. File management and export options. One thing that's going to make our lives easier is the export option. We can save our design directly to the cloud for access across all our devices, open files online to edit colors and objects, export our work in multiple formats including JPEG, PNG, WebP, PDF, and SVG. Performance The performance is surprisingly smooth too, even when working with complex vectors or multiple layers. The response time stays pretty consistent. And because everything is saved in cloud, we don't have to worry about losing our work if our computer crashes, something we have all probably experienced at some point in time. Pricing Now let's talk about the pricing. Coral Draw Go comes with a 15 days of free trial, which is good to see if it fits your workflow. After that, it's $10 monthly or $100 yearly. Considering the professional
succession of features we are getting, especially those vector capabilities, it's pretty reasonable for anyone serious about design. You can check it out from the description below. Now, what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts on the Coral Draw Go in the comments below. Have you tried it? What features would you like to see added? Drop them in the comments below. Now, that's it for today. Now, if you are looking for a way to run Windows on your Mac, then you can watch this video right here. And if you are looking for a lifetime cloud storage, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.